morning friends today today morning was so pleasant it was a very unique experience today i'm going to discuss uh, talk to you which i experienced or everybody must be experienced but they seldom uh, care to give a notice to it what is in our surroundings so today i'll be talking to you on a small title which uh, is the, the little things of every day aaj subah morning it was cloudy after my morning prayers i cycled down to kanpur club and since it was cloudy and drizzling i thought after my cycling i must have a cup of tea with a friend mr kedia in bangalore number 58 kanpur cat it was simply amazing i took him along and walked around that thick bushy jungle in the uh, in his bangalore mujhe aisa laga that everything seems to be conspired to make it lovely a day for me today the sun was uh, one its brief tussle with the rain clouds and now it was it was shining brighter for its victory for the day there was a nip in the air and the sky was bright blue with thick clouds occasional clouds coming up and disappearing i was just taking a very nice stroll with a cup of tea with my friend and once i finished the walk among the flowers the lemon trees the mango trees all kinds of uh, green uh, thick uh, trees the dew which cling to my shoes and the aromatic fragrance of the crushed herbs and wild flowers this they still uh, Uh, in me and in my clothes and in my body i reached home drove back home cycled down uh, uh, home and i make a haste to throw open doors and windows and let the sun shine and the same nip in nip uh, move in to my room when i sit and sat in my balcony i do not want to uh, lose my contact with the out of doors for yet a while my friend this little things of every day i wonder what we do if with these little things we enjoy so much were suddenly taken away from us just imagine the trouble is that we have grown up to used to having them about us all the time that we take them for granted in fact we don't realize just how precious they are until we have to do without them for a while and this applies not only to the brightness of a new born day sunshine dew in the fields and all those other well loved aspects of nature we simply tend to ignore locked ourselves in the air conditioned rooms and let this beautiful the thing just pass away or we become so insensitive insensitive to stop seeing things even if you have a beautiful tree right in front of house now i'm sure if you see it every day you don't see the tree at all you don't notice the tree at all unfortunately this continuous uh, lockdown period unlocked then again uh, locked down and we are sitting and doing nothing i tend to realize these little things of every day they are more precious more pleasurable and are the actual gifts of god these aspects of nature are also the everyday and also the everyday details of the living the familiar things that give life its meaning and it's joy my friend start noticing and start enjoying 
आप उस इंसान से पूछें जो किसी शिद्दत की बीमारी से रिकवर हो रहा हो ठीक हो रहा हो एनी मैन आस्क एनी मैन हु इज कन्वेंसिंग आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग इलनेस एंड ही विल टेल यू ही विल टेल यू माई फ्रेंड हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज फॉर हिम टू मिस ऑल दीज थिंग्स and he will look back with nostalgia he thinks of his normal work a day life he would give anything to go back fast to the old familiar routine the morning paper at breakfast just imagine his busy day at office he'll remember these things you ask any lady you ask any woman in the similar circumstances if she is unfortunately bedridden as a recovering from some kind of very serious disease ask her she too will confess to the same nostalgia for a well loved routine the early morning aroma of making tea or a coffee brewing let's say the laughter the squabbles of our children the daily round of the household tasks or if she gives out a, uh, out to a job the rush and hurry of getting ready she on the bed she or he that man will not dream of something very big ki happiness can only is missing some big success and the wrong belief everybody carries in his in his or her mind the true happiness comes only after some kind of big uh, some kind of imagined success no my friend these little things of every day if you start noticing they not only bring you happiness but actually success in true meaning you ask that lady she will missing seeing to her children and setting off a routine in a shot which though it seems monotonous in the actual living has in retrospect only the warmth and the comfort of the familiarity about it it's with me actually happening and i realize it now i have been in army for so long and i have to move out from my house very often on various exercises duties temporary duties training schedules operational commitments and whenever i left home and went on a long trip or a short trip uh, anywhere anywhere the dear familiarity of my room surroundings kept me intruding into my thoughts i see in my mind's eye the familiar positions in their own familiar settings the way the cushions on the sofa glow in the evening sun that comes slanting through the windows the knickknacks of the bookshelves and my study table the books dreaming in their uh, uh, from their shelves awaiting the uh, caresses of loving fingers of mine my favorite painting or picture on the wall my music system waiting to spring to life when i get back and these are the little things of every day i missed every time i went out of my house or my room or whenever i am away these unsensational prosaic little things no doubt but which over with all this same give such a sense of uh, permanency and joy to a home life my friend i am more than sure if you were to uh, think back a bit you would discover that it is not just the occasional uh, great and so called uh, joyous events that gave you the greatest happiness let's say a wedding a gala evening a brilliant social uh, function a picnic with friends and something for which you had planning for a days and uh, days on uh, and and to which you have been looking forward with eager anticipation my friend 
all these, all such events, all these events come and go away and they generally go uh, leaving you with a sense of flatness, even maybe a sense of disappointment sometimes because somehow they didn't measure up to your expectations. Something or something will be lacking or missing or will be uh, missed. Not as per your likings, my friend, but these little uh, comforting, ordinary details of everyday living, which we take uh, um, every day for granted. These are gods, I suppose, are the greatest gifts to all of us. Out of the largesses of the bounties of the God, they are plentiful. The beauty of nature, my friend, just imagine. The love of dear ones, good health, a boon, the value of which we uh, seldom appreciate enough until we lose it. All these are uh, what life really uh, worth, uh, which makes life really worth living. My friend, Remember, in the end, I can only say that the sheerest joy comes from the simple pleasure of life. As was said by Benjamin Franklin. And I say that uh, family ties, friends, books, flower, who, water, the wind, the health, shelter, sleep, the open road, rain in summer, fire in winter, dawn, dusk, songs, the starry skies, uh, love in youth, and of course, memory in old age. I can go on and on. There is an endless list of all those uh, loves of uh, little things of every day we, which tend to miss and ignore in our pursuit of God for a second, some imagined uh, destination, target or success in comparison to somebody else. They are fleeting, transient and temporary. This, I believe, the little things of every day are the life's real values, the bedrock of true happiness. Thank you very much.